So it's June 2019. We're down in New Brunswick, St. Ignace, uh, helping um, Judy, and that's her house over there. It's a cute little blue house, and she has a red car. And I'm at the neighbor's house here, Geneva and Raymond's house, and I've rented a white car, and this is their house. Yes, they have a big screened-in porch, a sliding door to keep the bugs out, goes all the way around the front, and they have three cats. There's one right there that could be Coco. Not sure, there's lots of cats in this neighborhood. Judy has nine of them, and Geneva and Raymond have three, and that was one, and this is their garage, and this is another garage where they keep their Christmas stuff. And then there's the little cat house where the cats live. It's got some flowers out there and a nice star on the door. And this is Thomas, I think. He's Geneva's cat. And Coco went, if its name is Coco, went into the house here. Let's just see if Coco's in the house. Coco, are you home? Are you in there? No, don't see Coco. But there's where the cats live. So I'll shut the door a little bit. Okay, you can go in, Thomas. And Coco's around here somewhere. There, there's Coco underneath my car. I think it's called Coco. And they're all three grown cats and they're all sweet and they're very gentle and loving. Welcome to the Cormier House in St. Ignace, New Brunswick. Meet Coco. Coco is one of the three cats. Coco's down here in the culvert eating some grass, which is good for their digestive system. Here's the house. Yes, there is a country road right there. And you're in the burg or village of St. Ignace. The church is up the street there. There are the other two cats. So this house is decorated for Christmas. You gotta go off the road, kid. Oh, this kitten wants to be. This wants to be strong. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Come on, come on, come on with me. Come on. Nope. Going across the road. That's dangerous. Let's go to this lady's house over there. I don't know why. Maybe she feeds him. Now these two kittens. They're not kittens, but I call them cats, kittens. They're watching some other cat. Let's see. Oh! It looks like Morris. Yes, it is. Morris comes from Judy's house, which is right there. Oh, there was another one just came out of this little white house, which is the cat's house. They live in this house. This is where their food is, this is where they sleep. And I think those cats were in there trying to get their food. No, nope. no food. Well, there's kibbles in there. Oh, there's some of the decorations for the Christmas display, which begins every November the 1st and goes till Christmas Day. Yes, the cars zoom along here. We must be heading into town. is going back home over to Judy's. Yeah, screened in porch. There's no way these people want the mosquitoes and black flies inside their house. Yes, it's time to eat, isn't it? Come on. Bring the food, Sue. Here it comes. 
food goes into the house and then they'll have their breakfast. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. What are their names again? Coco, Beth, Betsy. Thomas, and Betsy. Betsy. This is Betsy here you're feeding now. No, that's, this no. is Thomas. No, that's, this one's Thomas down here. No, Betsy is the girl and she's the gray. Okay, Betsy's there. Come on, sweetie. Come on. around the other side of the house. Come on. Come on this is just a garage with Christmas decorations in it. And there's the garage that holds the cars. See that's around here. The deer. A little village back here, some little houses. Way, 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 way back in the bush there, there's a blueberry patch. Blueberries are grown down here, big time. You can buy a um, five pounds of blueberries for about $15 in the store. So this is part of the decorations. They're all going to be lighted up at Christmas time. This little village. And there's all kinds of. That looks like a horse house. This one is. Who knows what's in there? It looks like cats and dogs. Carolers. Some family living in this one. Oh. Cows and sheep. Looks like Batman in there. Anyway, those are um, the houses that get lit up at Christmas. And then this is some kind of a, either a fox den or turkey house. And I'm sure that's lit up at Christmas too. I can see some lights already on it. And we have a general store. Magasin General. French. This is the French people. They've got cornflakes, milk, all kinds of spaghetti and meatballs for sale. A windmill, lights, and a beautiful, beautiful property. Neighbors over there. Like a church and a community center. Quite a big house. What's in it? Well, that's a secret. You'd have to get permission to go into that house. I'm just staying here looking after the cats for a few days while I visit my sister in law, Judy, who lives in that blue house next door that I showed you. Swings, there maybe are some children that come here once in a while. Maybe Geneva and Raymond, who own the house, have some grandchildren. I think they're on a little vacation to visit those grandchildren right now. That's the address. So if you want to see the Christmas lights come after November the 1st, right through till Christmas Day. My little white car that I rented. I'm from Ontario, this is New Brunswick, on the east coast of Canada. Geneva and Raymond have three cats. This one is Coco. Coco is a big cat and a beauty. This is Tommy, not Betsy. We used to think Tommy was Betsy, but Betsy's Tommy. This is Betsy. We used to think Betsy was Tommy, but Tommy's not Betsy. Betsy's Tommy. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so I can notify you when the next video comes out. You could hit the like button if you liked it and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Over and out.